back to extreme weather, snow, sleet, and Arctic temperatures ready to wreak havoc on the Northeast as Mother Nature delivers a so-called slap of reality to the Midwest. Several inches of snow creating a nightmare for travelers in one of America's busiest cities. Chicago O'Hare and Midway airports grounding nearly 1,400 flights so far. Take a look at this. Near catastrophe for 70 passengers aboard the Delta flight. I'll show you that in a second. This plane skidded off the runway as it landed in snowy Detroit. Mm. That's a shot of a parking lot. There, there it is. is. That, that, that looks like a plane off yeah. the runway. Let's get right to Janice Steen, who is tracking the storm for us, and she can let us know what is left to come. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, all of that wintry weather, that mess has moved into the northeast right now. But taking a look at the FAA, we don't have any delays, so things look good. But it is early and we'll have to see what happens later on. The good news is it's a quick mover. So by midday this afternoon, the storm will be out of here. But for now, it's going to be a messy commute. Take your time on the roadways. We have winter weather advisories for millions of folks here, as well as the potential for some freezing rain and or sleet. So this system is out of here by this afternoon. Our next weather maker will be Tuesday across the East Coast, but it too is a quick weather maker but on the weekend we are watching the possibility for a pretty big system on Saturday so that one we're gonna have to watch so stay tuned the other big story is the coldest air we have felt so far maybe in years as another Arctic plunge moves in so the pinks here below zero on Friday stretching all the way into the northeast so single digits and teens and stretching all the way as far south as the Gulf Coast in Florida in terms of freezing temperatures so that that's going to be the big story. We had this Arctic plunge already, but this one is going to be even colder, and that could set the stage for a pretty big system on the weekend. So we'll have to wait and see. And Clayton, long range yeah. forecast shows maybe a warmer than average Christmas for the oh, Northeast. No. Uh, but, but listen. Anything so is no possible way. after five days, okay? That's true. Some yeah, days are a little true. too hard. Yeah, absolutely. And we got an Arctic plunge to look forward to first. The Arctic <laughs> plunge is on the way, my friend. Sounds like a water Get park. the plunger out. <laughs> Thanks, Janice. Okay. Maker will be Tuesday across the East Coast, but it too is a quick weather maker. But on the weekend, we are watching the possibility for a pretty big system on Saturday. So that one we're going to have to watch. So stay tuned. The other big story is the coldest air we have felt so far, maybe in years, as another Arctic plunge moves in. So the pinks here below zero. Back to extreme weather, snow, sleet, and Arctic temperatures ready to wreak havoc on the Northeast as Mother Nature delivers a so-called slap of reality to the Midwest. Several inches of snow creating a nightmare for travelers in one of America's busiest cities. Chicago O'Hare and Midway airports grounding nearly 1,400 flights so far. Take a look at this. Near catastrophe for 70 passengers aboard the Delta. On Friday, stretching all the way into the Northeast, so single digits and teens, and stretching all the way as far south as the Gulf Coast in Florida in terms of freezing temperatures. So that's going to be the big story. We had this Arctic plunge already, but this one is going to be even colder and that could set the stage for a pretty big system on the weekend so we'll have to wait and see in Clayton look at the FAA we don't have any delays so things look good but it is early and we'll have to see what happens later on the good news is it's a quick mover so by midday this afternoon the storm will be out of here but for now it's going to be a messy commute take your time on the roadways we have winter weather advisories for millions of folks here as well as the potential for some freezing rain and or sleet so this system is out of here by this afternoon our next weather the flight I'll show you that in a second this plane skidded off the runway as it landed in snowy Detroit mm. that's a shot of a parking lot there, there it is, is. That, that, that looks like a plane off yeah. the runway let's get right to Janice Steen who is tracking the storm for us and she can let us know what is left to come good morning good morning yeah all of that wintry weather that mess has moved into the northeast right now but taking a look